the footsteps of women hitting the ground, their weather-beaten faces, testimony to the distance they have covered. These are members of the Boni community in Lamu County who reside in the Witu forest and exploit the trees for daily use. The women are retreating home after gathering enough firewood for the day. Larry Division in Kiambu and an almost similar situation, only this time, the wood is obtained from a registered scheme. The company has forest plantations which sells wood to the locals. And so with loads of firewood on their back, they are happy they will have wood to prepare their meals. These women and children represent up to 80% of Kenyans who do not have access to electricity. Because electricity is expensive and its supply limited, a lot of Kenyan households rely on kerosene to light up their homes. Kenya's electricity production is currently around 1,450 megawatts. More than half, 760 megawatts, comes from hydropower, primarily from the Seven Forks Dam, Sondo Miriu, and all rivers combined, where massive turbines generate electricity. But massive deforestation and other factors have led to decreasing rainfall and drying up of rivers and lakes, making hydroelectric power less of an option. Geothermal power, a process in which heat from the earth is converted to electricity, accounts for less than 300 megawatts, while wind turbines, located in Turkana, will soon be producing approximately 280 megawatts. Coal and gas are a minority in as far as meeting the energy needs for Kenya is concerned. Kenya is not endowed with natural gas, while coal, which is available in small quantities, has the disadvantage that it contributes to greenhouse emissions. This makes nuclear energy the best option, according to Ochilo Ayako, the chairperson of the Kenyan nuclear electricity project. Only nuclear energy that is able to generate a lot of energy. It is only nuclear technology that is able to competitively, in terms of cost per unit, to generate uh, electricity that you can use for industrialization at an affordable cost. Of course, it has um, a few challenges when it comes to uh, the level of responsibility when you are managing the technology in event of a disaster, but it's uh, the most competitive. There are already prospects of manufacture of biodiesel from Jetropa, but this is in its infant stages and also became controversial as residents of the Kacha in coast resisted the establishment of a plant. The nuclear electricity project was unveiled in 2010 to begin feasibility studies into the future generation of nuclear energy for the country. Rosalia Pondo, Channel 1 News.